How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary. In this video I'm going to tell you why you should not buy Star Wars Battlefront 2. Don't get confused, this is Star Wars Battlefront 1 gameplay here, so don't go calling me a hypocrite. Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about why you shouldn't buy the game, why the real issues haven't been fixed, and why this is the opportunity for gamers as a whole can have an opportunity to stand up against microtransactions and terrible business practices that do not benefit us in the slightest. And so, yeah, if you guys like these kind of commentaries, make sure to tap that like button. Let's be you want to see more content like this. Tap subscribe to stay up to date with more awesomeness and more news on this developing story as well. So yeah, I was going to originally just going to upload a Halo video, but then I heard this news last night and I was like, okay, I got to talk about this. So, with the release of Star Wars Battlefront happening today... Uh, DICE has decided to remove paying for crystals completely. So now the game is no longer pay to win, right? But now, so they've reduced all the costs for unlocking heroes by 75%. And now that they've removed paying for crystals to unlock loot boxes, so the game's no longer, so the game's fixed, right? N no, not, 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 not in the slightest at all. It's still, like, completely unfair. The game itself is fundamentally flawed and broken because the way the game works, the progression is completely tied to these loot boxes, which if you do loot that correctly, it's not really that big of a deal for me at least. Like Halo 5 did it okay. Could have done better. Certainly wasn't the worst like this game is. But the thing is though, with these cards that you get that upgrade your character, they're straight up upgrades. You know, like they're tiered out, but like, you know, first card's like 5% to your shields, then like 20%, then 40%, 50%, I think even 100% to your shields for like, a, for example, for I think for, for like a Starfighter or something like that. Now that is just absurd. So now instead of the game being pay to win, the game is now grind to win, which hey it's fixed now no it's not at all like so players coming into the game say like six months into it are at a clear disadvantage than players who've been playing for a longer time so now the game hasn't been fixed at all this is all just you have measures to hopefully get on our gamers good side so they can try so ea and dice can try to save face the best they can which they're not doing the greatest job of it i mean they've there's even been backlash from ea uh, one of the community managers uh, left a tweet out just saying all these back all these armchair developers and we're like obviously it's in you know response to us but then he responds back like oh no no it was just you know overall the, the, the gaming community as a whole kind of thing and like try to backpedal and really it was him tweeting out some frustration of all the people who've been you know tweeting at him tweeting at you know saying all this bad stuff about Star Wars Battlefronts which Nothing to the developers at all. They are not the ones who are guiding the ship. They are making the ship run, basically. And so, I've been hearing a lot of news about people sending out death threats and stuff like that. You do not do that to anybody, ever. They do not. Des no one deserves to die over a shitty microtransaction setup in a video game. Like, that's just absurd. And, um, but yeah, back on topic, though, with the game itself. So, like, moving forward, like, what can we do to, you know prove that we do not like this change we do not like this unlock system we do not like anything about this game except for the core mechanics of the game itself it is by not buying the game i'm not going to be buying star wars battlefront 2 i really wanted to i love star wars i think it's awesome battlefront 2 is a really fun game even though it was missing some core aspects of the game i feel like it needed and also the fact that it's super casual of a game but that's kind of fits within the star wars universe or feel really but uh, besides that, having the, the microtransaction set up in the game was just absolutely absurd. And not only that, not only did they just remove them, they removed it, they said, temporarily. So we don't know how long it's going to be until we, uh, you know, get those microtransactions back. And I do not see a way where they can re-implement those microtransactions back into the game and have it be good for the player. Because the fundamental fundamentals of the loot boxes are just completely wrong it's just <laughs> completely wrong like i said earlier it's not so now it's not pay to win anymore the game is now grind to win and it's just unfair to people who don't spend countless hours playing this game i just realized that for some reason this game my lightsaber isn't working for darth vader there it is <laughs> oh man but um so, I really would suggest you guys to not buy this game. Just please do not. We need to stand up as a whole. 
when you need to you know tell dice tell EA that this is wrong we've already voiced it but now we need to show it we need to, we've put up and now now what's they well, I was going to say put up and shut up, but that doesn't exactly work in this situation. But we need to put our money where our mouth is. And that's, a much, but that's exactly what you need to do right now. We've put our mouth out there and saying, this is bullshit. Please don't do this. You're ruining the game. You know, pay to win, pay to win, which it totally is. And now we need to you know, put our money where our mouth is and not buy this game. I'm going to rent it for the campaign. And I might stream that as well on this channel. So check it out later um but i will not be buying star wars battlefront 2 because of the loot boxes you know, the game is fundamentally flawed yeah you know, they can do all the changes they want but the core aspect and the core reason why this game got so much hate is still in the game the original post where the player said i can't play as luke skywalker and darth vader at launch is this ridiculous microtransactions have gone too far so then EA hears, oh, you don't like paying money to do that. Well, then we'll just remove the, the paying aspect of it. Like, no, the original issue is still there that you cannot play Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader at launch. Do you not see this? <laughs> and then, like I said, on top of that, the way the, way the cards work, they're pure upgrades that give players clear advantages over other players. And it's just... It's a mess right now. There's no and there's no way to truly fix it unless you just get rid of the card system and go with actual progression. And but the thing is, that all the cards in the game give you an unfair advantage, and so they would have to remove basically all the cards of the game to where you have just the gameplay. If it was just the gameplay, you remove the loot boxes completely to where they're just you know at least all the gameplay advantages. You remove those completely. I'm all for that, you know. Leaving just the cosmetics and everything else in between, like that's fine. But the gameplay advantages you need to remove, or just remove the loot boxes completely, and just have everything on a experience-based unlock system. Fine, like you did, like in Battlefront uh, One. I didn't like that whole lot, really, just because you know once people grind out to the um, was it the DL44, I think it was, or something like that, the most powerful weapon in the game that was clearly overpowered. Then uh, that's what happened. Why am I staring at a wall? <laughs> okay anyways um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i just needed to get my rant out on this one because i need to tell get my voice out there that i'm not buying this game because of, sh of crappy ea practices i'm going to skip forward on this game why am i staring at the wall there we go <laughs> because i'm going to stand up not buy this game i'm only going to rent it for the campaign then i'm going to return it i may stream it a little bit and that's it. Like, I'm not going to be enjoying this game because I'm not going to be buying it because of the loot boxes. And then now it's grind to win instead of pay to win. It's going to be pay to win again because of the way the cards are set up. Unless you remove the. You have to completely remove all the player advantage cards to make this game any form of fairness. Anyways, guys, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Check out the videos on the screen right now. Check out the subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.